Welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we're looking to solve for x. The equation is 7 to the power of x plus 8, which is equal to 8 to the power of x plus 7. Now, the first thing we're going to do is apply exponent properties here. So, if a is to the power of m plus n, it can be rewritten as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So let's do that with this equation. We have 7x times 7 to the 8th equals 8x, 8 to the x times 8 to the 7th power. Now that we've done that, we're going to divide 8 to the power of x from both sides. And then we're also going to divide 7 to the power of 8 on both sides. Now why we're doing that is so that we can have our numbers with exponents as powers or as x's as an exponent on one side and real numbers as exponents on the other side. So it'll look like this. So I have 7 to the power of x over 8 to the power of x is equal to 8 to the power of 7 over 7 to the power of 8. Now our left side here, since we have 7 to the power of x and 8 to the power of x, we can rewrite that as 7 over 8 to the power of x. Now that is great because now we can go ahead and use the log function to solve for the exponent. So let's put both sides equal to log. Or multiply both sides by log. Sorry. Now that we've done that, we are going to use a logarithm property. That property is if you have log of x to power, like m, you can move that power to the front, like m log x. So we're going to do that, and then we'll have x log 7 over 8 is equal to log 8 to the power of 7 over 7 to the power of 8. Now that we've done that, we're going to divide log 7 over 8 from both sides. And then that'll leave us with x equals log 8 over s 8 to the power of 7 over 7 to the power of 8. And all of that is over log 7 over 8. So let's move to a clean slate here. So now, we can use another log property. So if, if we were to have log x over y, that is the same thing as saying log x minus log y. Now let's apply that to our equation. We'll have x is equal to log 8 to the power of 7 minus log 7 to the power of 8 and then log 7 minus log 8. Now that we have done that, the next step would be to apply another log property to simplify this a little bit more, which is when you have log a to the power m is equal to m log a. We use this on the other side, so you should be familiar with it. So apply that to the top part of this equation. And that is what we're left with. And that technically is our final answer. If you wanted to plug it into a calculator, you would get 7.571. And that's how you solve that equation. It's best to use log and apply the properties of it to simplify it down. Thank you for watching this video, and please tune in for more videos.